Hi there everyone, welcome back. My name's Chris. Today's gear video, we're gonna be taking a look at the Arctis Hot Climate Combat Shirt. Now, this is uh, something I just acquired. To be honest, I thought Arctis had actually gone out of business. They were a company that they were, they were a lot bigger in the 90s, in the sort of era of, uh, of old school woodland camo and stuff like that, but they seem to have really updated their line and they're doing some pretty interesting apparel. So I picked up a couple of pieces to take a look at. Now, like I say, this is their Hot Climate Combat Shirt. And I think they, obviously, the color is probably gonna stand out first thing to most people. Now, I, I opted for the Coyote, which as you can see here, uh, is the color on the actual, the main, the sleeves and the, the collar, etc. Slightly unusual thing with Arctis, when they make sort of desert-y colored uh, items, when it comes to any stretch or thin material areas, this fabric they have is kind of, it's, it's sort of verging on white. It's not actually white, I can assure you, it's, but it's very close. It is a really, really light tan. Um, in this instance, most of it's gonna be covered up by your, uh, your plate carrier or your vest. It's not the biggest deal. The good thing about this fabric is that it is incredibly breathable and excellent um, at wicking away sweat, which is actually the main thing. So color, slight downer, properties of the fabric, excellent so you know ups and downs everything nice high collar i like that um arcteryx for a while did these combat shirts where there was like no collar there's like a practically a v-neck which is a terrible idea because then you sling and your plate carrier shoulder straps and everything it's just going to rub on your neck you don't want that nice high collar on this nice quality zip about a quarter length zip the sleeves are connected to the collar all the way across there are some combat shirts where this stretch material um is the only thing holding it all together at the top, which is not what you want, because then it just stretches out. Nice, nice large loop Velcro areas on both sleeves. And then you've got, again, a good quality zip to access the arm pocket. So you've got a decent little bit of storage in there. Reinforced elbows, nice big double layer of fabric on the elbows, and then a Velcro cuff that actually opens up all the way like that. So that's gonna be really handy for, uh, for rolling up the sleeves themselves and then you can tighten that down if you need to. Disadvantage, one bad point to this, um, but I think it's fixable. If we look inside, I'm gonna actually bring it to the camera. Every other combat shirt I have, and I checked all of these, the, where the zip terminates, just down here, sits right on your chest. This metal piece, that is covered in fabric or it's on the outside. This on the Arctis is, well, this, this is the bit that'll sit against your skin, just there, and you can see the metal coming through. Now, I've tried it, you know, I've just tried this on just briefly, and it's not immediately noticeable, but I'm a bit concerned that that chunk of metal sitting right against your sternum with the weight uh, of your, your equipment on your vest, your plate carrier, whatever, is a tad concerning. I'm not sure why they've left that on the outside it's, it's a bit of a disadvantage to my mind. I think you could chop this section off, um, just remove this piece entirely, and it'd be a lot better. It, and it should be doable because the stitching goes around it. So if you chop that, it shouldn't all like unravel itself or whatever, but I don't know, we'll see. They For some reason, they've put a hanging hook in there. I don't know why, it's a combat shirt. I Personally, I wouldn't ever be like hanging this up on a coat rack. Mm, that's just something else to chafe. Similar story with the label. You got this really massive label for some reason. It's, it's huge. It's not the end of the world. You know, you've just got a place to put your name and rank for some reason, and uh, and then your washing instructions. But it's just overly big. It doesn't need to be that big. It's just another it's another thing to rub against your skin, especially when it's pressed against um, against your if you've got body armor on. And it's another patch that's just going to sweat a bit more because the the wicking fabric's being covered. Um, so there's a couple of there's a couple of sort of choke points as it were negative aspects to the shirt that are they're minor downers uh, but i think they'll be easy to fix and uh, I, i'm not sure why they're like this because like i say i checked against you know arcteryx you attack uh, ice tactical proper true spec i mean lbx uh, did i say them checked against a whole load of other brands and none of them seem to have quite these same problems so yeah, I'm not sure about a few little downers to it, but you can get these in some pretty interesting camos, some unusual European camouflage patterns, 
uh, and the this main material here is excellent it's, it's ideal for what it is it's not flame resistant i don't think uh, i'm not going to test it but i think it would probably melt if you were in a an ied blast or whatever if you're worried about that sort of hazard flame hazard probably avoid um like i say i've not tested it i'd have to uh, ask arctis about that whether it's got any sort of flame proofing to it i don't think it does stitching is absolutely bang on all straight neat everything excellent i've looked right over it and it's fine so to wrap up uh, I let my camera battery die because I fucked up uh, so we've had to wait a while to do the ending but um, I've, I've covered everything all the main features really uh, the upsides the small niggles the little things they can change maybe well uh, we'll hope they'll do a, an updated version of the shirt later on but overall well, it, it does what it says on the tin it's a very good hot climate combat shirt uh, it comes in a lot of colors and the, the construction quality is excellent and the quality of the materials themselves despite the slight color issue um, the, those materials are extremely good and I'm very happy with it, I have to say. Uh, link down to the Arctis site where you can see the manufacturer's product description and obviously you can get in touch with them, get uh, pricing, see the color options, see the features list. If you want to order one, you can get in touch with them via that website. Also got my uh, Facebook and Instagram links and stuff down in the description box. Post on there daily if you want to see more stuff, keep an update with the videos, always posting more content on there. Uh, hit the thumbs up if you like the video guys, much appreciated. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.